It has been one week since we've talked about Hassan's terrible political career, full of hypocrisy, misreporting stories, and shifting the goalpost when he's wrong, all while villainizing anyone who disagrees with him. What a f***ing liar, dude. What a f***ing Weasley little liar, dude. After criticizing Hassan for his React content, a lot of Hassan fans criticized me for my React content. Shaming Hassan for stealing content while you're literally stealing Hassan's content. Interesting. It should be obvious, but me only using the necessary parts of Hassan's content to make my point is not the same as him reacting to an entire video, barely paying attention, leaving partway through. And Monday morning. Twice. And then coming back completely lost on where he is or what's going on. I mean, Wait, he heard the what shots. did I? He had looked. Did I accidentally go forward or backwards? If you don't know, it probably means you weren't paying attention and what you're doing is in fair use. You never mentioned that Hassan gets permission from creators to watch their vids. Dude, if you're gonna do a hit piece on someone, don't lie or omit the truth. It is true that Hassan says he only reacts to creators he has permission from. Like, don't leave the video running when you get up a hundred percent yeah you can't that's do like that that's like pretty basic stuff you stop doing that i only do it with uh i usually only do it with my uh videos that i know are from my friends like okay. noah samson uh second thought things like that but he's bold face lying he does it to everybody's videos not just his friends lamino whose video was reacted to by hassan where he left twice said that he's never given hassan permission i don't mind people reacting to my videos but i do mind when they play the entirety of my video a face cam in the corner or the occasional interruption does nothing to address that issue my video is still being played from beginning to end in someone else's else's stream or video. You know, they, they could do the bare minimum and ask for permission. Something that none of the major reaction channels have ever done when they've streamed or re-uploaded my videos. So don't call me a liar when he's the one lying to you. If you're a Hassan fan, he does this to you constantly. I don't know why anybody would want to get their news through this guy. Wouldn't you want somebody who's consistent, reliable, and stylish? Like Ridge! I think we all know that one person that's not easy to buy gifts for. Maybe they've been carrying around that fat, bulky wallet for over 10 years. Well, Ridge might be the perfect gift. Ridge simplifies the wallet game without sacrificing sacrificing form or style, coming in over 30 different colors and designs, even having their own take on that classic leather wallet, my favorite, giving you the ability to personalize it with images, monograms, or text, all while being made from RFID blocking materials to protect you from digital pickpockets. But Ridge isn't just upgrading your wallet storage, they're upgrading your key storage as well. The Ridge key case organizes up to six keys in a compact, jingleless way, from wallets and keys to backpacks and phone cases. Ridge has the perfect gift for this holiday season, all with a 90 99 day risk free trial so you can give the perfect gift worry free and if they somehow don't love it you can get a full refund shop the holiday sale by going to ridge.com slash show and get up to 30 percent off through december 20th use my link and you get a free chance to win a ridge bundle worth over four thousand dollars thank you ridge for sponsoring this video but it's really frustrating that like this is a fundamental thing i believe in and i advocate for and i practice what i can preach and yet mother still always say that I am actually fake. A lot of Hassan fans are mad at me because I called Hassan a fake socialist, a hypocrite. Aw, socialism man has money. Socialism man bad. You are not allowed to critique capitalism if you have money, lol. No iPhone equals socialist? Please read just a crumb, please, I beg you. I never called Hassan a hypocrite because he's rich. I called Hassan a hypocrite because he advocates that companies should profit share with their employees while he pays his employees absolutely nothing. As a socialist, right? Does that carry over to your Twitch? To who? Podcast, to who? To what? To like, editors? The, to moderators? Yes. So you're paying moderators or a head of moderation? No, at, not editors and not moderators. I don't want moderators to come on on board exclusively because they want to, you know, use this as a job opportunity. That's subjectively hypocritical. And let's face it, it's just funny to watch Hassan act like he's a blue collar worker on stream, acting like he's shocked when he hears how expensive people's homes are. And glass doors, which is absolutely horrible for audio quality. Dude, this is like unimaginable wealth, dude. How the fuck do people make this much money? $2.9 million near Las Vegas? Dude, oh my f Lord, dude, you can buy so, a castle in Las Vegas. Bro, he bought a $3 million house for himself the next month. What is he talking about? Not a Assad fan, but what a misinformed and ignorant take. The dude is literally the most consistent political streamer in existence. At least if you're going to lie on someone, make it believable. It's time to stop. 
How do you convince someone of something when they're so stuck in their worldview they ignore all your receipts? It's impossible. The old adage must be true. You can't argue with stupid. People need to be told to shut the f up. People need to be told that they are wrong all the time. Hassan hates any and all journalism that goes against his worldview. Three years ago, a video went viral of a man holding a BLM sign in what was apparently the most racist town in America. The video is two minutes long and features people threatening to kill him, calling him the N-word, and Hassan loves it. This is braver than f the troops, okay? I'll just say this right now. What he's doing is, sometimes we use that as a joke. They say like, oh, this man's braver than the troops, but like what he's doing is literally just straight up putting his life on the line without any sort of protection or Kevlar or anything. How many of these people are off-duty cops? Okay, probably zero of them because none of them tackled him and beat the shit out of him while the camera was on. Jinian saw this video last year and decided to do some citizen journalism to see if this video was an accurate portrayal of the town's citizens. He went there and discovered that the town had a bad rap. I'm not gonna lie, when I did come here and stuff like that, you know, hearing that it's the most racist town in America, I was just, you know, going on expecting it, like, you know, the racism and stuff like that make it a video, you know, like, oh man, this is what happened to me. But as I got here, I realized, I said, I cannot put that connotation on this town because I am not experiencing that, you know? Hassan didn't like Jidian's findings, so he frames them off rip as a white apologist. I thought to myself, not only as a content creator, but also as a black man, I had to go to this town and find out firsthand the truth about the most racist town in America. All right, so we Please tell me he's not gonna whitewash already. this shit, right? It's Please. Really so one thing that we need to always establish is that like, just because a fucking town is racist, one, doesn't mean that they're going to be like literally uh running around like being running around and doing hate crimes to every black person they see i don't know why americans have such a twisted and broken understanding of what racism is which is weird he's moving the goalposts the original video that jideon is investigating showed people being openly and aggressively racist for two minutes straight what he's saying has nothing to do with anything when Hassan finishes the video he calls everyone who enjoyed it racist all the comments are eating it up yeah bro if you're racist little white zoomer and you're watching Gideon, of course you're gonna love it when your your, your favorite black uh, uh comedian is you know feeding into your your world view that like you know being racist in an xbox lobby is just memes people in his chat who criticized the science takeaway he would then also call racist while being racist wow looking for racism when someone actively trying to bridge a gap what gap dude what gap you can't bridge a gap with the clan you dingus God damn, that's the most Caucasian f***ing take I've ever heard in my entire goddamn life. What the f*** do you mean, bridge a gap? If your go-to reaction when you're mad is to go after somebody's skin color, that says a lot about you. He's also saying that the town is home to the clan, which is not true. That's a different town, which Gideon explains in his video. They said that this place was like the most racist town in America, yeah. but like, like, what have you seen here that you would like deem maybe racist? Out in Zeke, which is probably like a 20 minute drive, the leader of the Ku Klux Klan or whatever lives out there. So this isn't the racist town, Zeke. Oh wow, Hassan misrepresenting the facts of his situation. It's like he's made a career out of it. Hassan is a self-described on the ground journalist who only reports from his bedroom. Me going live and giving you 10 hours of on the ground, uh, 10 hours of reporting from the ground, uh, at, a, at a critical moment, at a critical time. And then he spends his time discrediting actual on the ground journalism because it doesn't fit his worldview. You're like, I can't watch a f***ing video that is like already accrued, okay? 3.4 million views over the course of the past 24 hours that is inherently political, that is about possibly this person, uh, either A, whitewashing white supremacists, or B, not. Shut the f***. How do you whitewash white supremacists? Am I, wh why are you going in this thinking that I'm gonna go in here trying to make white supremacists look good? Like, why is that your first thought? Like, why, like, do you think that, do you think I think that little of my race that I'm gonna go in there to like try to like make it look like white supremacy is great and stuff like that. I mean, that does seem to be Hassan's comment section's takeaway. I literally had someone in this comment section say, I don't even know what racism is. And I went on their profile, I went on their profile picture and they were a white person. And they were saying that I don't know what racism is. How are you gonna tell me in my 21 years of life, I don't know what racism is. And just because I didn't push a narrative of a three minute video that was showing people saying racist things, I actually showed the good of a town and stuff like that. Um, 
I'm I'm uh I'm not smart enough or I don't understand. He does it because you disagreed with him. All the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. I spent a large majority of my last video criticizing Hassan's poor news coverage. And since then, has he taken the criticism in good faith, becoming a better political commentator? No, of course not. It's Hassan. He's delusional. He hasn't changed a bit. He will still sit there blindly saying stuff about Gaza while the article on stream is proving him wrong. After the takeover, Israel and Egypt imposed a blockade over the Strip as a way to stop them from importing weapons. And also any secondary materials that could be used to make weapons. Just by their own admission alone, we know that they have the capacity to produce their own weapons with support from Iran. Yeah, no, I don't, I, I think that's bullshit too. Again. Like, that's what Israel claims, and that's the reason why, uh... They... That's what Hamas claims. That's what Hamas claims. The receipt is right in front of him. And despite his bias being on full display, describing himself as a self-propagandist... Make no mistake, the posters are propaganda. Of course they are. But just like I do propaganda, right? Will at the same time claim that his coverage has been even-handed. Since day one, I have been incredibly even-handed and incredibly <laughs> tempered in my coverage... I've been incredibly even-handed and incredibly tempered in my coverage for obvious reasons, even though inside of me a fire burns, okay? Hassan is very talented at making his mistakes seem inconsequential. And if somebody proves him wrong, he twists that into them being the bad guy. We all know Hassan jumped the gun when it comes to the Gaza hospital being bombed by Israel. And when his chat corrected him, he demonized them. You bad faith, apartheid defending, bloodthirsty j- Freak. He then goes on to speculate missile technology because that's easier than admitting he's wrong. If there's a deployment, like an activation that uh, that uh, Israeli munitions have, that can uh, that can detonate way before it impacts the ground. This is such a joke. He has no clue what he's talking about. Hassan now has to deal with his fans clowning on him because he based his opinion off absolutely nothing, but instead of owning up, he decides to shift the goalpost. Now, it suddenly doesn't matter if Israel bombed the hospital because they're killing people either way. Like, ultimately, even if it wasn't Israel that bombed this hospital, which I do maintain it is, okay? But even if it wasn't, okay, 500 of the last confirmed kills did not come from Israel. So what, are you just mad only when Hamas kills people then? Because that's what you're saying at that point. You know what I mean? You're saying literally, I do not care when Israel kills someone. I only care when Hamas kills someone. No, it is not. Look how he demonizes and strawmans people who correct him for being wrong. If you're going to get mad and be like, dude, I can't believe the counter rocket barrage from the Hamas teams on the ground actually caused these 500 people to die in the fucking hospital, then what the fuck? Are you saying what about the 3,000 people that died in the fucking week prior by Israeli bombs? It makes no sense. It makes literally no fucking sense. What are you saying? The original claim was that Israel flattened a hospital, killing a thousand people. It started riots and protests around the world. Hassan even knows it matters because he titled his stream after that. He acts like criticizing him for poorly covering a story is the same thing as justifying all of Israel's other attacks. It's not. What about the 3,000 people that died in the f***ing week prior by Israeli bombs? He's hiding behind the deaths of Palestinians so he can't be criticized on the internet. Real brave, Hasanabi journalism at work. It's pathetic. You got it wrong. You can be held accountable for it. Stop shifting the goalposts. This thing he does where he gets mad at everyone but himself when he's wrong is embarrassing and he should be criticized for it. I'm glad Ethan is doing it. You just mad? Only when Hamas kills people then? I'm mad when all people die, but I don't think it, I don't think he, he or many people seem to care when Hamas kills a bunch of their people. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. I, I just, I don't understand the theory that like the truth doesn't matter. This is not the first time Hassan has done this. When Hassan was wrong about the invasion of Ukraine, he coped by spouting Russian propaganda. Regardless of whether he wants it or not, he needs it as a buffer state. Exactly. Exactly. Dylan Burns, an actual on-the-ground journalist, this guy is currently in Ukraine, would then show everyday Ukrainians these clips and they'd respond to it. Russia annexing its own f***ing territory that it's had, mm -hmm. that its own territory full of its own people is not the same as NATO being like, like we're gonna turn our country into a base, base and, put and put literal military bases and, and rockets into your country. Most offensive thing, and it's its own territory. Excuse me, what is Ukraine even? So this this is the imperialist talk for supposedly anti-imperialist leftists 
who is like all about fighting colonialism and imperialism when only the West does it. He's obviously not anti-imperialist, right? Because he, he is, claims he is. Well, he, he claims a yeah. lot of things, but he yeah. claims he cares about Ukrainian lives too, which I don't think is true. It is a 90 minute video blowing up Hassan's ridiculous rhetoric. It's Likely you say around. that they should secede territory to a fascist invader. It's not even secession of territory. It's like prior agreements that neither party has held on to. The real Ukrainian- I'm sorry, we had uh, prior agreements oh, before yeah. Minsk. That's, that's uh, false equivalence. Referring to agreements where it obviously benefited Russia more yeah, it was as the, it was as the agreements was, yeah. that we should stick to rather than the agreements that yeah. we had decades before that was fair on all accounts. This video from Dylan came out a week ago. Hassan's response was to lie, claim that it never happened, say that it was all out of context. Those of you said, chat, has he responded to Dylan Burns post, by the way, before getting clapped? If you think that I would entertain such a psychotic thing ever, in my life, I don't know what to tell you. How is having actual Ukrainians engaging with your arguments psychopathic? It's objectively good for the online conversation, but he frames it as bad because they disagree with him. There is nothing more perverted and psychopathic than literally putting Ukrainian people in Ukraine that are being f bombed, okay? by an invading force that is unjustifiably occupying their country, making Ukrainians sit down and f watch my clips out of fucking context in a way that you have framed it to, to have them go, oh, wow, how fucked up f this guy. He'll never show what's out of context because nothing is. He's just lying again. And because it's a sign, he then has to demonize Dylan for doing actual on the ground journalism by calling him a war tourist pervert. I can't, I don't know what to say. It basically... It, it, it basically betrays the position that you have like, oh, I genuinely care about this. That's why I went out there, not because I'm like a fucking war tourist pervert. It's the exact same response that red pillars give when they're under legitimate ridicule. Claim that it's all out of context, hoping their own audience doesn't go and actually look it up for themselves. And to some degree it works. I've received many comments claiming I took things out of context, but never actually showing what it is. Why? Because nothing's out of context. It's coped from him and his entire audience. If mainstream media is expected to correct stories when they're blatantly wrong, why shouldn't Hassan? He's the largest left-leaning political streamer. He has more live viewers than the BBC. His blatant disregard for actual reporting has consequences. When talking about a 23-year-old German girl who was last seen stripped and mutilated in a Hamas photo, Hassan's fans disregarded any news surrounding her potential murder, saying she wasn't stripped, she was wearing the exact same outfit in the truck as she was at the rave. I genuinely believe Hamas carried her out of the concert to get her to a medical treatment center. The outrageous claim that she was graped is absolutely not true. This guy gets his evidence from the same place as Hassan. They completely fabricated. It's a widespread belief on Hassan's Reddit that what Hamas is doing is in terrorism. His Reddit mods are banning people even calling Hamas terrorists, saying it's a prejudiced statement against marginalized groups. My favorite part is the mod hitting the ban guy with, try Marxism sometime. It helps a lot with understanding people and the things they do. <laughs> okay, dude. Only on Hassan's Reddit could that be considered an own. Hassan's audience acts just like Hassan. Shocker. Hassan's Twitch mod has gone on the record saying that Israeli should dodge military service, otherwise it's the equivalent of the Nuremberg trials, which was 24 of the worst Nazis being put on trial after World War II. I, I'm just not, I'm just personally not a fan of, of, you know, I had to do what I was forced to do. And I feel like you start getting really close to like Nuremberg trial type shit there. So she, so she's trying to compare anyone drafted into the IDF mandatory conscription to being a fucking Nazi. I'm not surprised his audience feels this way. His reporting is factually lacking, demonizing, and emotionally charged. It radicalizes people. When Ethan confronted Hassan about his audience nonstop calling him racist and genocidal, Hassan said he can't do anything about it. Like, do you care that your, your chat is calling me racist? Do you make any attempt to modify? To I like, have not looked at my mo chat. Moderate at, that at I have all. not looked at my chat at all, but you have I just to opened it, but don't you have moderators do you care at all about what I, your audience there, says about me 30, you literally implied that jewish voice for peace would be akin to a capo in this circumstance oh, you are fucking so bad faith for saying that and fuck you for even like putting that out in the world i'm fucking shocked that you don't care that people in your chat are saying who the fuck 
is this child called Ethan, arrogant? Ethan, kind of fuck. I love you, it's but like, there's but there's only so much I can do. Yeah, if you have time to ban everybody in your chat who links you to my video, then you could ban people calling Ethan a racist. He doesn't because he's okay with that narrative. His audience, instead of engaging with what I say, demonizes me, calling me a Zionist, saying the only reason I would criticize Hassan is because he supports Palestine. I'm gonna guess you only care about him now because he's anti-Israel. If Hassan was anti-Palestine and his coverage was just as bad, I would make the same video. He covers news for a living, meaning he should put the bare minimum effort in. Hassan likes to push the narrative that you can say horrible stuff about Palestinians, but not Israelis. Because the news is only ever pro-Israel. You cannot be callous in your celebration of Israeli civilians being slaughtered, but you absolutely can and always are callous and bloodthirsty when talking about the plight of Palestinians. And you say whatever the fuck you want, like they're subhuman animals, they're Nazis that all deserve to die, all the Nazi babies. This double standard exists. This double standard will always exist. It's not a double standard. Pro-Israeli people are facing tons of criticism. Ben Shapiro gets ratioed every day. Destiny is constantly being taken out of context by Hassan's editors. Um... Honestly, uh, I'm pro genocide. I, like, it's not, it sounds really shitty, but like, I think that Israel should just drop its fucking borders about where it is now, and basically, <laughs> Palestinians can go live in another place. Ethan Klein, who's super supportive of Palestine, gets called a racist on the daily. His even handed coverage would continue when people would hang posters of Israelis that were held hostage by Hamas, leading to pro Palestinian protesters tearing down the signs. These are ripping posters down. These are innocent civilians in Israel. This was wrong for these girls to do, but the video received massive support online. People are acting nuts on this issue all around. But what's worse is Hassan pushing the notion that the only reason people would care and hang photos of hostages is to bait Palestinian protesters into looking bad. The point of these posters, the real point of these posters is so that someone goes and fucking tries to rip it off so they can can film it and go look look at these scary arabs they hate it they have no interest in, in in israeli lives it's always a race thing with him people only do things because they're racist that's his logic this conspiracy like most of Hassan's breaking news coverage is backed by absolutely nothing he then tries to start an actual psyop to bait pro-israeli people into looking bad so the worst thing you could do in that situation is rip up the posters okay because you'll be caught on camera. Best thing you can do in that situation is put the many different names of the Palestinian children that have been slaughtered. Put posters of them up everywhere. Have Zionists come and fucking try to rip those off. Do the same thing. But in reverse, that's it. He makes defenses he just doesn't need to. He argues that Hamas, the terrorist group, doesn't hide behind the civilian population. That's why it is fucking ridiculous. The idea that like uh, they're human shields is such a fucking insane thing. How much do you believe the human shield stuff? No, of course I don't believe the human shield stuff. What do you mean? I've told, what, what, no, that's ridiculous. There is no, even if I were to believe that they are like purposely fucking putting humans in front of rockets, okay? It's ridiculous to actually shoot through the hostage. When confronted on just being wrong about this, he makes up a new reason, saying that it's densely populated, implying there's not enough real estate. When you say, why does Hamas mix their infrastructure with civilians in like the most densely populated open air prison? What the f are you saying? Where is the government supposed to be? It is a false notion. It is a complete falsehood, a fabrication to justify the endless bloodshed to say they're using human shields. I don't get why he fabricates arguments for Hamas. They're very upfront with why they do it. It's not a secret. The fact that you're down here in tunnels that have been built under civilian areas, you're launching rockets from civilian areas as well. Doesn't that mean that you're endangering Palestinians that you claim to be fighting for? We are sacrificing ourselves and our times and, and everything we do in order to ensure a better future for our children. But are you also not sacrificing the civilians that are directly above you? Of course, we don't want them to get killed or to get targeted. But this is the only choice we have. This is what we can do, and they are supporting us. Yeah, he doesn't really seem concerned about real estate here. Why deny the facts? Why not just criticize Israel? I'm a propagandist. 
Well, no, no. For the record. I'm, just like I do propaganda. I need you to understand my goal is to parse through information and misinformation. You are the misinformation. You get everything wrong. And instead of correcting it, you shift the goalposts. Lie. Demonize anyone who corrects you. Anyone else would have been banned by now or forced to correct the record. That's the real double standard. Can I please fuck, fuck you? Please. Oh my God, I'm so desperate. I want to fuck you so bad. I'm going to fucking kill Colin. myself. Hassan is terrible at his job, terrible at covering the news, racist to people who disagree with him, will outright lie to his audience over and over again, knowing they'll believe him. So why is he so popular? Because he plays to people's anger and emotion when it comes to sensitive topics. If you're angry about Palestinians' treatment, he will frame everyone else as genocidal for you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You genocidal scumbag. You fucking piece of shit. You garbage, monstrous scumbag. If you're angry about police brutality, you can watch them laugh at a cop getting shot. Watch out. <laughs> Are you okay? No, you shot me. Oh, <laughs> Are you okay? Echo 7, <laughs> There's never going to be facts, receipts, nuance, because he's only there to farm outrage. He should be seen as nothing more than left-leaning Alex Jones. And rip the Palestinian flag. Oh my god, he's crying. Off of her. What a f***ing bitch. Subscribe to the channel. Also, my last video was demonetized. So buy Ridge Wallet or support me on Patreon so I could be a more independent creator. Phoebes, Crimson Glass, Riveter, Christina Vina, Mac Monkey, Drink Kobex, Bo Blacks, Necro Valley, Stefan Bildman, Friday 13, Abby Blackbird, The Confusing Opinion, Eddie Bizzle, Tiz McFitz, Christopher H, BCCS22, and the mega homies, Reynolds Hughes, Hellison, IGP, Your Taxi, Latchkey Gothboy, Cyber Katie, Lori Loaded, Papa Gut, Caden Luland, Luis G, XO Irish XO, BA Subway, and TV Anthology Reviews.